Peace, love, and blessings. So I'm back real quick. I just wanted to make this video just short and sweet because um, this may be something that one of you may be dealing with. Um, but the in this hour, shout out to Sister Amaya because she, she put a message out. I didn't get a chance to look at it, but I did see the title of it and it was talking about counterfeits. And then she did make a community post um, about counterfeits, right? Um, but I was sitting here with the father just now and, um, I was just realizing how the enemy is so crafty, right? And we're not giving him power at all. Um, but he's so crafty, especially in this hour, especially because it's a lot of unions that are, that's taking place and, um, things like that. And so he's coming in different ways, you know, to try to, delay what God is doing, right? So I know many of you probably are like, um, yeah, there's been like a crazy amount of counterfeits just coming out of nowhere and popping up in my life and applying pressure and acting like they want to, you know, be with me and all this stuff like that. And then there's some of you, right, that are experiencing counterfeits showing up in dreams. You know, you could be experiencing people from the past, maybe people that you had relationships with in the past showing up in your dreams out of nowhere right and so as i was sitting with the father now we already know let's go back to this so when we know when we see that there's an uh a, a outpour of counterfeit showing up at the last minute we know that's an announcement that your your real deal the spouse is really on its way and this is a kingdom spouse message okay um, but again, for some of you, you may not be experiencing physical counterfeits reaching out to you and stuff like that, because maybe you don't, they don't have access to you. You know, maybe you no longer speak to them. You got a new number, you live somewhere else. Like they just don't have access to you. But for those that, you know, has no access to you, they showing up in your dreams. Right. And so what the father was showing me, even with them showing up in their, in the dreams, um, this is a way for the enemy to try to have you come into a demonic covenant through your dream state. And so it's important. I'm here to remind you how important it is when you wake up. I don't care if you don't even remember your dream. When you wake up, beloved, I want you to make sure you are renouncing and denouncing any demonic covenant that you may have come into, uh, came into agreement with in your dream state. Okay. Not only that, um, the father was showing me that there's, you know, sexual perversion, temptation, that is taking place real heavy in this hour to try to snuff you out of your position, to try to get you out of your position, to try to delay what God is getting ready to do. Guys, you know, scripture says to resist the enemy and he shall flee. If you have to cut people off that are sexually attracted to you or attracted to you in any old kind of way, cut them off, be obedient, because that very thing could be blocking the progress of your union. And I know sometimes it's hard, but it's required. If you want your promise, you have to do it, right? Um, but going back to even them just showing up in your dream state, denounce and renounce as soon as you wake up, even if you don't remember your dream. Not only that, I want you to, if this is you, go on a fast. Take it back to the Father. Lord, I don't. how long do you want me to fast for? Take it back to the Father. Allow him to tell you how long you want. he wants you to fast for and break this thing okay while you are fasting with breaking any demonic covenants and renouncing and denouncing any demonic curses or covenants that you may have came into agreement with while doing this give to the needy be sure to give to the needy i'm gonna read scripture uh isaiah 58 beginning with verse 6 it says is not this the kind of fasting i have chosen to loose the chains of injustice and to untie the cords of yoke and to set the oppressed free and break every yoke? Is it not to share your food with the hungry and to provide the poor wanderer with shelter? When you see the naked, to clothe them and to not turn away from your own flesh and blood. Okay, so while you are fasting, breaking these yokes, breaking these cords, breaking these chains, right? Um, you are also given to the needy. It, it can look either way. If you feel led to sow into a ministry, if you feel led to, I like to sow into whoever God tells me to sow into. And I also like to give to Salvation Army. Or when I was mobile, I would just ride around and go give to a homeless person. Okay. 
however God leads you to do that. But be sure when you are fasting and breaking these demonic curses and covenants that you may have came into agreement with in your dream state or just period, be sure to pair it with prayer. You know, make sure you are renouncing and denouncing. Pair it with um, giving to the needy. Okay. And um, break that thing in Jesus name. Because again, the enemy is sent to delay our promises. And I was seeing no more delays, but this is one of the things that we have to understand. Like we have to know what vices the enemy is using so that we can be able to, you know, this is our battling strategy, right? So it's important to know how the enemy is moving so that we can beat him at his own game. And this is one of the ways the enemy is moving. So Again, if you need to go on a fast, if this message is for you, go on a fast, okay? Um, you can do an intermittent fast. You can fast from Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, right? And between the hours of 6 a.m. and 3 p.m. each day, you know, um, stay in praise and worship because the enemy is, he he's real crafty. He's hes such a punk in his butt thing. He gets on my nerves. But um, I just wanted to give you all that message because... Um, I, I see that it's not just a physical thing with these counterfeits. They trying to show up in the dreams. Okay. And they're, you know, if you haven't sex in your dreams, that is the enemy trying to have you come into covenant with these demonic covenants and curses. Like, no, we breaking that. We put too much work in for you to be coming back into covenant. You know what I'm saying? So continue to res resist the enemy so he shall flee. If God is telling you to cut a particular person off, if you have love interests that you're entertaining, cut them off. Be led by the spirit, the Holy Spirit, not spirit, okay? Um, and that's that. I just wanted to put that message out there. So if this is for you, this is for you. If it's not, you know, um, if it's on apply, let it fly, all right? But again, if you feel like you um, was blessed by this word, let me know. Um, if you feel led to sow into this ministry, my information is in the description box below if you are watching from youtube and if you are watching from tiktok my information is in the description box above okay so peace love and blessings i will be back with another word um when the father releases me i'm out <laughs>